Hello friends, Mr. Justin here from the Hoover Public Library, bringing you another round of story time from my house. Today I want to share uh, with you a story about one of my favorite things, dinosaurs. That's right. Today's story is The Three Triceratops Tough by Stephen Shaskin. Once upon a time, 68 million years ago, there lived three Triceratops brothers and their name was Tough. There was Stanley Tough. Oh, look how cute he is. And his big brother, Rufus Tough. And their big brother, Bob Tough. Now, the three Triceratops brothers went in search of food. They went all across the land when they came to a great big valley. And on the other side, there was lots of delicious looking plants. They were so excited. Oh, there's a fourth Triceratops in the story. Are you a Triceratops? No, this is a dog. This is my dog, Albus. Hi, Albus. You want to be the fourth Triceratops brother? No? All right, you're just going to listen, okay? All right, cool. We can handle that. All right, so the three Triceratops Tough went in search of food. And when they came to the Great Big Valley and they saw the vegetation and yummy plants on the other side, Rufus Tough yelled out, Dinner is served! Wait just a minute, Bob said. <clears throat> because down deep in the valley, there stood a ginormous... <gasps> Tyrannosaurus Rex. Roar! He was very scary. Oh my goodness. And he stood at the bottom of the valley. Oh dear. But Stanley was so hungry and he was so brave that he clip-clopped down into the valley to get his food. Clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. Can you do that with Stanley? Can you take one hand and the other and slap them on your knees like Stanley? Mm -hmm. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. Stanley clip clopped down into the valley and the T-Rex roared. Who's that clip clopping in my valley? <laughs> it is I, said Stanley. Stanley Tough, and I'm in search of some grub. Well, said the T-Rex, dinner is served, and you are it. Wait! What? My, my bigger brother, Rufus, is coming right after me, and he would make a much better meal for someone as mighty as you. Hmm. Yes, how lucky that makes me. <laughs> I tell you what. Scram, squirts. And little Stanley Tough clip-clopped the rest of the way through the valley. <clears throat> now, my friend Rufus Tough clip-clopped into the valley. Clip-clop, clip-clop, clip-clop. Can you do that with me? Take your two hands and your knees and clip-clop, 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 clip-clop. There came a great big roar. <gasps> Who's that clip clopping through my valley? It is I, Rufus Tough, and I'm here to get some grub. Well, said the T Rex, dinner is served, and you are it. Wait, said Rufus. My brother Bob is coming, and he's much bigger than me, and he would make a much better meal for someone as mighty as you. Hmm. Well, that sounds nice. Hmm. Off you go there, scrunt. Get out of here. <clears throat> now, Bob Tough came clip-clopping into the valley. Clip. Clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. You ready? 
take your hands and your knees. This needs to be our biggest, loudest clip clop yet. Are you ready? Clip clop, clip clop, clip clop, clip clop. And there was a great big roar. Who's that clip clopping in my valley? It is I, Bob Tuff, and I'm coming to get some grub. Well, dinner is served. Dinner is served, all right, but not for you. And Bob Tuff took one big swing of his gigantic tail and T-Rex flew out of the valley and was never seen again. And finally, after all that time, dinner was served. And that's the story of the three, one, two, three, Triceratops Tough by Steve Shasky. And now it's time for a song where we're going to pretend that we are the dinosaurs. What do you say? Okay. All right. All right. Part two of today's story time, you and me and everyone watching, we are going to pretend that we are dinosaurs. So, dinosaurs are big, most of them, and they like to stomp around and make the earth shake. So that's how we're going to start this song. So, get your great big dinosaur feet ready, and your great big dinosaur claws ready, and your great big dinosaur roar ready. Are you ready? Here we go. We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. What do you think of that? We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. We make the earth flat. We make the earth flat. Now, we're going to stop for lunch. Now, there are two main types of dinosaurs. There are carnivores who eat meat, and there are herbivores who eat plants, like our friends the Triceratops. So pick which what kind of dinosaur you want to be, and get ready to have your lunch. We stop and eat our food when we're in the mood. We stop and eat our food on the ground. So if you're a plant eater, eat some leaves. If you're a meat eater, take a big bite of your chicken leg. We stop and eat our food when we're in the mood. We stop and eat our food and then we march around. Get your dinosaur claws, your dinosaur feet ready. We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. Dinosaurs, like other reptiles, have nests. So, we're going to go take a nap in our nest after all that marching because we, of course, are very, very tired. We stop and take a rest over in our nest. We stop and take a rest at the end of the day. Ooh, we stop and take a rest over in our nest we stop and take a rest and then you'll hear us say are you ready claws teeth feet roars we are the dinosaurs 
dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. What do you think of that? We are the dinosaurs marching, marching. We are the dinosaurs. We make the earth flat. We make the earth flat. And then we roar. Let me hear you roar. Dinosaurs. Good job, everyone. Awesome dinosaur actions. Whew. Let's say bye to T Rex. I know he's most people's favorite. Roar! See you later. Bye!